Om Namah Shivaya Namaste. So this morning's class is all about core strength, a little bit about opening up those hamstrings, a lot about balance, and definitely a class to help you slowly wake up in the morning and then find a bit of momentum. So if you can, and you have them available, a block, or two blocks, pardon me, a strap or a resistance band, something that you can just use to loop over your foot, something to shorten the gap between hand and foot would be helpful. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start right away on our backs, taking the strap over our right foot and coming straight back down to a nice little recline pose, extending out your left leg, two hands, or even one hand on the strap, just find a nice healthy amount of tension that feels good through the back of the leg. Just enough for the leg to know that we are talking to the hamstring. But not so much so that it feels like the hamstring is in trouble. And you can start to slow down your breathing. Let's focus on some diaphragmatic breaths. Breathing, expanding and filling the belly. Oh, jai breath. You might <clears throat> close down the eyes. Allow your experience to soften. Noticing the sounds around you. Allowing your receptivity of the sounds to soften. Noticing the sense of touch, the weight of your body against the floor. The fabric of the clothes that you wear. I'm working with that deep rhythmic breath. Expanding and opening the abdomen. And letting it go. You might start to point and flex the toes a little bit, so a bit of flexion and plantar flexion. Just keeping a bit of resistance on that band. Nice work. And you're gonna take that band in your left hand and just draw the leg across to the left, just about 150 mil a foot's distance or a bit more. You can imagine if you rolled a marble off the inside of your right foot, it would land right next to your left hip, so it's not too far. And try and anchor now back down through your right femur, your right thigh bone into the hip. Keep the, both the sit bones, the buttock, nice and firm on the floor. Keeping a little bit of tension through that strap now with your left hand. Working back to that breath. Now maybe expanding and broadening your breath just into that abdomen belly and then right up into the ribs. Maybe feel the ribs start to lift and open. It might start to rotate through your foot and thigh bone a little. Just turning your foot left and right. And then we're gonna slowly take that strap back into your right hand and then open it all the way to the right side of the mat. So a big, wide, open thigh stretch. So let the weight of the leg do most of the work here. Your bands and your hand is going to support so that it's not too much, too strong in that inner thigh and inner groin. If you find the flexibility isn't there today, you're a bit tight, you just bend the knee and work more into the inner groin, less into the hamstring. If you feel the hamstring is limiting your ability to feel the inner thigh, inner groin. Otherwise, just extend out. You might even press out through the heel and foot and try and ground down now through your left leg, so the grounded leg. 
can you try and square back through your hip so that left hip isn't lifting up from the weight of the right? And coming back to those deep breaths. Take one last breath there, bending that knee. When you're ready, we'll bring it back to center. Release the strap, but hold the knee. Keep the knee in your hands. Just drop that strap down to the side. Give that knee a nice little bit of a squeeze towards your chest. Keep extending out through the opposite leg. And then taking that knee out now to the side as if you're gonna try and draw the knee into the armpit alongside the ribs. Opening again through the inner thighs, inner groins, stretching through the, right across the side of that hip flexor. Nice work. And from here, got my right legs, elevated legs, so my right hand's gonna take the knee, of my right leg, and my left hand's gonna take the foot of my right leg, and I'm gonna draw that foot and leg across towards the hip. So imagine doing a reclined, pigeon pose. So you're trying to put a bit of an angle through your shin bone, the knees drawing towards the chest as if just as if you were in pigeon laying down over the top of the thigh and the foot is off to the side. So you're using your hands to create the shape and what I want you to do here is lightly press back against the hands with your leg and then you'll alternate, release the pushing of the legs, give the legs a bit of a pull through the hand then pushing back with the leg and then giving the legs a bit of a pull with the hands and just working between the two. Keeping that nice awareness of your breath. Nice work, last breath there. Wonderful, just give that leg one last squeeze and you're gonna slowly release that leg. Bringing in the opposite leg, find your strap, strapping up your left foot. We begin the other side. So you might straighten out your right leg now and do it slowly and feel the, oh, the wakefulness in the hip flexors and the hip, the groin. And settling into a nice reclined pose with your left leg now. Finding that right amount of tension. Supta Padungastasana, our reclined one leg fold. I'm going to go ahead and make sure you're still breathing nice and deep here. I'm going to switch hands when you're ready. So the right hand's going to maintain the strap. We're going to bring that left foot across the hip. Just that foot thickness, the width of your foot, maybe a little more. Just again, working with that right amount of tension, right amount of pressure. If it's early in the morning, it's such a nice way to start your practice with this gentle but, but apparent and quite obvious stretch. Nice one to not start with too much. So keep a nice full, complete breath.
might start to rotate through your foot and femur to turning your foot left and right. Just getting that little bit extra stretch. When you're ready, we're going to take it way over to the left, so opening now into the inner groin and inner thigh. So the strap should be in your left hand. Extend out through your right leg, ground down through your right hip. Find that right place, that right space. And then connect to the breath, let the weight of the leg, the support of the strap do all the work here. Let's take some more deep breaths. Breathing now from the belly into the ribs and all the way up into the chest. A big, complete yogic breath. Nice work. And just before we come out, you might take that opportunity to point and flex the foot a few times to work into your shin and calf. When you're already bending in the knee, as you draw that left leg back to the chest, releasing the strap, place it to one side. Give the knee a bit of a squeeze and then drawing it out to the outer left rib, maybe using your inner elbow to hold that knee, and draw it into the armpit, the outer ribs. And then working that leg onto a bit more of an angle for your client pigeon pose. So working the angle of the pigeon Drawing using the hands, the knee, and the left foot to the right hip. The knee towards the chest, pressing back against the hands of the leg, and alternating with the breath. The drawing in and the pressing back. that leg. Let's go ahead and grab one of our blocks, props, books, whatever you have available. On the middle size thickness, we're going to take that block between the knees. We're going to come into our bridge pose. So when you're ready on your inhale, you're squeezing the block between the thighs, lifting your hips. Sweep your arms back and behind your head. On the exhale, slowly sweep it all back down. Vetu Bandhasana. Inhale, reach up. And exhale to bring it down. Slow, deep, complete breaths. On the next inhale, we're going to come up and hold. Squeezing into the inner thighs. Try and tuck the tailbone. Squeeze into the core. Get the glutes awake. Squeeze into the buttocks. Resting into the back of the head, you might lightly press your head into the floor, waking the neck. One more breath. On the exhale, slowly release, come back down. Pulling that block back to the side. I'm going to give your knees a hug. I'm going to rock and roll when you're already up to seated. We're going to come into a little cat cow. So find your way to tabletop. Nice work. Spin around here. So straight into a nice little cat cow. You don't need me here, just breathe and move.
Nice work. And then just coming into our tabletop, so pausing between cat and cow. Let's think about putting some weight into the hands and drawing the shoulders back. Let's try and pull the shoulders wide, open the collarbones, and connect to all the muscles behind the shoulders and down the back, behind and underneath the armpit. And flex, then press into cat pose and stretch. Dropping back to tabletop, maybe a slight cow. Draw the shoulders back and squeeze those muscle groups. Then exhale, press, release cow, cat, and stretch. One more time, dropping all the way into cow. We keep the weight through the hands. Draw and squeeze the muscles in the upper shoulders and back. A bit of scapular work in the thoracic here. Exhale, press, and stretch. Nice work. All right, coming back, let's grab our left foot with our left hand, step it to the top of the mat. We're going to come into Anjani Asana, so slowly sit up tall, sweep your arms up. On the exhale, we're going to lean back, cactus the arms. So on the inhale, we're reaching up. On the exhale, we're leaning back, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean back. Nice work. Inhale, reach up. And just going to walk your front foot about another 150, 200 mil further to the front. On the exhale, we're going to straighten that leg and fold down. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, folding deeper. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, folding in. Nice work. You might quarter lift. Exhale, folding in. You can flex or even point that foot if you want to feel this one more in the shin. One breath here. Nice work. Then inhale, slowly coming back up. So widen out for your unjani. Reach your arms up. This time, rather than leaning, rather than pushing back through the hips as you come into your cactus arms, push your hips forward and down and still lean back. So inhale, reach up. Exhale, push your hips forward and lean back. One more time. Push your hips forward, lean back, cactus the arms, little back bend and stay there. You'll feel this one in the right hip flexor, nice and strong, right up through the psoas into the abdomen. Stay with that. Nice work, inhale, reach up. Exhale, straightening the front leg, come back into that fold. Nice. Inhale, halfway lift, use your arms. Exhale, arrowhead down, sweep them back. Inhale, arms sweep you up. Exhale, sweep them back. We're gonna hold you, it's a little bit of a balance challenge. So again, flex the foot, point the foot, wherever it's feeling better for you. And hold, a little bit more of a stronger stretch. Can you hinge from the hip? Can you straighten up out of your abdomen? Nice work. When you're ready, sweep those arms back, frame the foot, drag the foot back to where it originally started, tuck your back toes and come up into a nice crescent lunge, high lunge, reach your arms up. Nice work. Exhale, left arm down, take a nice side stretch. Inhale, reach up. Balancing through the feet, exhale, hand down, side stretch. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, arm down. Hold there. Nice work. Inhale, reach up. All right, exhale, we're gonna straighten the front leg. Sweep the arms behind the back, clasp the fingers. Pyramid pose. Inhale, halfway, look up. Exhale, sink in. Option to shorten the stance there. Kick your back leg forward a little deeper if you feel you're a little bit too stretched. I'm going to sink in, one more breath, quarter lift, draw through the arms, shoulders back, chest open, exhale, sink in, hold there, try and sink your back heel to the mat, if, you're not, if it's not there already, you can keep the back heel up if it suits your hips better, suits your legs, press through your front thigh, bone, press the front thigh, bone back through the hips, square the hips, one more breath, nice work. When you're ready, use your arms, keep the front leg straight as you come up, reach the arms up, sink into the front leg, 
Nice. Exhale, right hand on the inside of your left foot. Take a twist. Easy twist. Inhale, reach through the crown of the head. Exhale, twisting from your torso, from your belly. Nice work. Stay there. If you can, press through your back heel. When you're ready, looking down, framing that front foot. And we're going to step back. Pause there in plank. Take two breaths. When you're ready, slow along the knees. Relax back into your cow pose. Exhale, cat. Opposite side. Inhale, come into your cow. Right hand grabbing right knee. Exhale, step it to the top. Nice work. So we're going to slowly sweep the arms up. So coming up so you're square with your hips. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, reach tall. So focus on the strength of the legs here, working on the balance. Nice work. All right, from here, inhale, reach up. You're going to just crawl that front foot forward. Then exhale, now Ardha Hanumanasana. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in. One more. Nice work. Pressing through that toe or flexing the foot. Whatever works for you. Nice work. When you're already playing that foot, sweep the arms up. It's a little bit longer here. So as you exhale, you push the hips forward, but lean back at the same time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, push the hips forward. Cactus the arms, back bend. One more. Work on the balance. We're going to hold there. Opening the chest, opening the shoulders. When you're ready, inhale, reach up. Again, exhale, arrowhead those arms. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more. And we're going to hold it there. Whichever variation works for you, feels good for you. Remembering you can always pad that knee in these low lunges, put a blanket on knee, something to support, or triple fold your mat at the edge just to support your knee. Nice work. When you're ready, drag the hands back to their original starting position. Walk the foot back just in line with the hands. Tuck the back toes, coming up. Crescent to lunge, inhale, sweep the arms up. Nice work, exhale, sink in, cactus the arms. Nice, inhale, reach up. Exhale, right hand down on the outside of your right thigh, lean it over, a little side stretch. Inhale, arm up. Exhale, lean it over. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, lean it over. Can you press through the back heel? Hold there. Inhale, reach up. Remember, you can shorten the stance if it felt good in the last one. Exhale, pyramid pose, straighten the front leg, fold in. Clasp the fingers, opposite stack, so opposite pinky finger on the outside. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in. Create strength through your legs. Firm the feet, lift the kneecaps. Press your front thigh bone into the hips. Square the hips. Find stillness here. Find balance. Compose. When you're ready, use your hands to pull yourself back up. Sweep the arms up and left hand on the inside of the right foot. Easy twist. Inhale, reach through the crown of your head. Exhale, twist from the belly. Stay with that. Mm -hmm. 
Nice work. Looking down, hands framing that front foot. Nice. We're going to do something a little bit different here. Stepping through option to pistol squat. Use blocks if you have them. Bringing it all the way through. Coming down onto your back. Nice and core activation. Keep one block with you here. Take it block on the medium set in between the legs. Nice work. Focusing on a little core activation. As you breathe in, I want you to round the tailbone, so lift the tailbone. As you exhale, press through the floor into your belly, into your back. Press the back foot into the floor. Inhale, round the tailbone. Exhale, pushing, drawing the belly in. So you're trying to lift the tailbone and create that activation right into the center of your abdomen core. Hands can rest out. I'm just trying to get that nice activation, control and awareness of our abdomen. Squeezing the block with the thighs, getting that connection. One more. Nice work. Slowly drop the tailbone, straighten the legs out, lift your shoulders, sweep your hands beside your knees. Navasana, squeeze the block. Keep pressing down through the abdomen on the exhale. Inhale, trying to lift through the arms, legs, squeezing the block. Exhale, round into the back, push the back into the floor. One more. When you're already bending the knees, nice work. You take that block back to where it began. Nice work. And we'll take our knees to the chest, give it a rock and roll forward and back. Coming back, crossing the ankles, and we'll step back. Nice work. Into your plank. All right, so plank pose, just one time. Straighten my mat out there. I'm going to practice a variation of Vashisthasana side plank. So think about bringing both your feet to the center of the mat. We're going to turn our right foot, pardon me, our left foot, let's go left foot today. Turn our left foot in and plant that left foot. And then straightening, I've totally cooked this. Come back to plank. A little edit. So from plank, what we're going to do is turn our left foot to the left side of your mat and then try and keep that leg straight and plant that foot in. If you can, take your right foot on top of the left big toe to try and firm that foot in. Push your hips up into almost a downward dog figure and then bring all your weight into your left hand and come up into a high variation of a side plank. From here, you can slowly maybe lower down into plank, keeping as best you can your foot flat to the floor. Nice work. One breath there. When you're ready, lift the hips up. You might be like me, I'm starting to cramp in my foot. Nice work, we'll try the other side. So turning your right foot and the right heel to the right, straightening that leg and then using your left foot to firm or flatten that inside edge of your right foot to the mat. Keep your hips high as you start to bring your right hand up. And then if you can, pushing until your shoulders are over the right hand with your foot still firm on the floor. Vashi stuff in a side plank. Nice, one more breath. Well done, release the hand. Cool, here we go. Bend the knees, look to the hand, step or float your feet to the top of the mat, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, your hands to your heart. We've come a long way already. Release your hands down, close your eyes, take a moment to check in and notice how you're feeling. A little moment of awareness. All right, Suri Namaskar, the classical sun salutations. My personal favorite of the collection. When you're ready, standing in your Tadasana at the top of your mat, take a deep inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Every breath framing movement. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, step your left foot back. Back knee down, chest open, shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Lowering your knees, chest, and chin. Squeeze your elbows to your ribs. Inhale onto your belly. Cobra. Exhale. Lift the hips. Squeeze down through the heels. Down dog. Bend the knees. Left foot stepping to the top of the mat. Inhale gets you there. Exhale is bringing you into your fold. Inhale is going to take you to rise up. Exhale is going to bring the hands to the heart. So every breath, framing movement. Inhale to rise. Exhale to dive. Right foot stepping back. Inhale, framing that movement. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Lowering knees, chest, chin, no breath between breath here. Inhale, and tuck the toes, on your belly, press into a light cobra. Pressing through the hands, lifting the hips. Exhales, taking you to your down dog. Bending the knees, right foot's bringing you back into your lunge, back knee down, shoulders open. Exhales, folding you at the front of your mat. Inhale to rise. Exhale to arrive. Breath framing movement. Inhaling from above. Exhaling from below. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale from the belly as you fold. Left foot steps back. Inhale to the chest. Exhale from the belly as you step back. No breath, knees, chest, chin. Inhale to the chest. Cobra. Exhale from below. Down dog. Left foot stepping, inhale. Exhaling to fold. Ujjayi breath. Inhale from above. Bring the breath up. Exhale from below, take the breath down and out. Right side, inhale, reach. Exhale, hold. Right foot stepping, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Knees, chest and chin, zigzag lines. You know where you're going. Right foot stepping. Folding. Exhale from below, from the belly. Navel. Inhale from above to the chest, rising and lifting. The breath opening and expanding. Exhale from below, grounding, releasing. Take a breath here. Last round, on your own, let your breath guide you, left side. Left foot. Last round, stepping back with the right foot and stepping forward to finish with the right foot. Leaning back in Tadasana, eyes closed, checking in, notice how you feel. All right, 
time, some more action. Can we keep these principles? Inhale from above, exhale from below. Breath framing the movement, the transition into the pose. Deep, slow, rhythmic ujjayi breath. When you're ready this time, arms sweep wide, inhale. Look up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, step or float the feet back. Pausing for two breaths in plank pose, kakasana. You can bend the knees or lower through push-up all the way onto the belly. Nice work. Arms sweep back, palms facing down to the floor, press the tops in, feet into the floor, inhale to the chest, come up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come up. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Hold there, work the arms back. Squeeze into the muscles behind the shoulders, down the back, under the armpit. Squeeze the upper back strong, open the chest. Squeeze into the glutes, press the tops of the feet into the floor, a little higher, last breath. When you're ready, slowly lower down, hands beside the ribs, pause with your forehead on the mat. Take a breath. On the inhale, we're going to come into Cobra, slowly pressing through the hands, open the shoulders, exhale, come back. Again, inhale, lifting in, elbows into the ribs, exhale, come back. Notice the chin is the last thing to come into the pose, inhale, come up, very last, the chin comes up, this time we'll hold, so draw the shoulders away from the ears, down and back, open the chest, open the collarbones. Breathe. So the chin is always first. When you really drop the chin down, slowly lower. Nice work, you can push up, or you can come over the knees, working your way, finding downward facing dog. Nice work. One breath here. Now here, can we bring back principles, framing movement with breath. Inhale, left foot to the sky. Exhale, knee to the nose. Inhale, knee to sky. Knee to forehead, thigh to belly, connection. Inhale, extend. Exhale, point the toes, draw the thigh to the belly and knee to forehead. Pause there, press through the floor, step to the top of the mat. Back heel is in and down on a 90, so setting up for your warrior two. Cartwheel the arms up. Nice work. Exhale, sink in. Inhale, straighten the legs, reach your arms up. Exhale, sink in. Inhale, straighten and reach. Exhale, sink in. One more inhale. Exhale, sink in and hold. Draw those shoulders back. Stretch through the arms. I'm looking at you, you should be looking at me. Gaze is between the middle finger. This time with this pose, can we focus on external rotation through the front hip, turning the front hip open. Through the back leg, think about activating the inner thigh today. Try and squeeze inner thigh as if you were trying to turn your back thigh now forward, coming back to face the front of the room, to face the camera, you. One more breath, keeping that squeeze and focus on the inner thigh of the back leg. Nice work. Inhale, keep your front leg bent, sweep your arms up. Exhale, back arm down, lean back. Reverse warrior, stay here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Lean back, exhale. Nice, one more breath. Bending into the front leg, bending the arms, 
Utida Paz Vakanasana, extended side angle, left elbow to left knee, reach your top arm forward and around. So now you're stretching from your back foot all the way through your top hand. Nice work. So try and push into that elbow, push into the knee, lift up a little bit, and then take the weight out of the elbow, let it hang there, and use the strength of your torso. So you're stretching, lengthening the outer torso, but you're strengthening the underside, not just resting on your elbow. Again, focus on the inner thigh of your back leg, and you imagine turning the underside, the under groin, towards the back of the room. So a little internal rotation to turn the backside out of your back right foot thigh. One more breath here. Keeping the front leg bent. Inhale, cartwheel the arms. I'll shape the arms and come into a nice reverse warrior. Nice work. Deep breath in and out. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, lean it further back. One more breath in. Exhale, cartwheel the arms, trickle nasana. Reach forward, sink in. Drop the chin. Inhale, come up. Front leg stays straight. Exhale, reach. Drop in. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reach. Drop in. I'm going to hold there. If it feels good, you can take your gaze up to the top hand. Keep internal, internal rotation through that back leg again, as if you were turning the inner thigh, the groin, to then face behind you. Strong through both the legs. Lift the arches of both the feet. Make the feet active. Strong through your torso. Lots going on. Strong posture. One more breath. Nice work. Inhale, coming back. Keep the front leg straight. Pause here. When you're already going to lift up the back heel and slowly sweep your arms forward and you're going to come to the top of the mat, stepping into your L shape. Nice work. Stay here, lift that back leg. Exhale, hold, lift and turn the belly. Squeeze into the glutes of both the legs. When you're ready, slowly lower that foot. And then stand, bringing your left foot with you for the right. So you're going to come to standing with your left leg now. You can hold onto the knee, or you can grab that big toe, or you can even grab a strap and hook the foot. Right hand's on the hip, inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, opening. Inhale, straightening. Exhale, opening. And just work with that. Utida Hasta Padungustasana. Very similar to what we've done. We're going to hold it out to the side. Very similar to how we started our class with our straps on the mat, on the floor. We're replicating this pose. Press out through the heel. Open the chest. Ground down through your front foot. Last breath. When you're ready, bend the knee. Bring it back to straight. Straighten the leg out, no hands. One, for two, for three, give it a kick. And you can release it to the floor. And release, well done. Take a breath. And we're ready for the opposite side. With a little bit of uh, core and conditioning coming up today as well in this round. So mixing it up a little. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step or float the feet back into your plank. Nice work, stay there. Deep breaths. When you're ready, you're going to drop the knees. Press back into your child's pose. Stretch out the arms. Nice work. Inhale, coming back into cow pose. Tucking the toes, down dog. Bending the knees, feet together. Step off, load the feet to the top of the mat. Coming down onto your belly. Nice work. Grab your block, bring it between the legs on the medium setting. Squeeze the thighs as you slowly roll back. Try and resist the drop. Nice work. All right, from here, 
We're gonna start with a little Navasana, straightening those legs, squeeze the block, reach the arms. Lift the shoulders, squeeze the legs. Stay with it, breathe. An option to stay here or come up into high boat. I can't get up there. There we go, bent knees. Option to stay with bent legs or straighten the legs. Tricky with the block, extra work on the inner thighs. Stay with it. One more breath. You might slowly lower back to your low boat. Squeeze the block. Nice work. Bending the knees, feet to the floor. Gonna lift your left foot to the sky, straight up over the left, right knee, and lift into your bridge pose. Exhale, come down. Inhale, come up. Press shoulders into the floor, push through that grounded leg. Exhale, down. Inhale, come up, press, reach, grounded through that right glute, pressing and flexing the left foot. Breathe. One more breath here. When you're ready, you bend that leg, so they come back down, take a breath. Switching sides, right foot up, inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. This time you might activate the shoulders a little bit more. Inhale, lift. You might tuck the shoulders under a little bit more, under your back. Hold here. Breathe. Ujjayi. Last breath. When you're ready, slowly lowering down. Bring that knee to the floor. Good work. Give both the knees a squeeze, just to rock and roll. And roll back to the top of the mat, cross the ankles. Step through, step back, plank, downward facing dog. All right, right foot to the sky. Knee to chin, squeeze the thigh to the belly. To the sky. Knee to nose, breath and movements are now matching. Framing each movement with our breath. Knee to the forehead, we're gonna hold it there. Squeeze that thigh to the belly, lift and around the upper back, step to the top of the mat, back heels in and down, warrior two, right leg should be the front leg, exhale sink in, inhale straighten and lift, arms and legs, exhale sink. One more. Roll those shoulders back, gazes right through the middle of the Front hand through the middle finger, warrior face. Try and focus on external rotation through the front leg, internal rotation through the back leg, trying to turn the inner groin to face behind. One more breath here. Nice work. You're going to come into your reverse warrior. Inhale, straighten, arms meet at the top. Exhale, lean back. Nice work. We've had a little variation in there, so bend that front leg. Nice work, exhale, lean back. Did it in reverse. Nice work. From here, inhale, reach tall. Cartwheel the arms, right elbow bend. Right knee, right elbow reach, the left arm over. Extended side angle. Inhale, ground through your back leg, internal rotation. Exhale, draw the right ribs under the left chest. Reach and extend. Make the back leg strong, press out through the back leg. Strong through the front inner thigh. Everything, the feet are working, the legs working, the core and torso working. Push through your elbow, take some of the weight out of the elbow. Hold it in your core. Nice work, last breath. When you're ready, looking down, keep the front leg bent, bring your arms back and cartwheel the arms until you meet in a reverse warrior. I'll shake the arms, breathe in and out. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, a little deeper. One more breath there. Nice work. Keep the front leg straight, Trikonasana. Reach on the exhale, find that 
pose. Inhale, come up, keep the front leg straight. Exhale, drop in. Inhale, up. Exhale, we're gonna come in and hold it. Now we're going for time. Oh yeah, we're getting there. We're nearly ready, peak pose time. Hold strong through the legs, tall through your torso. Breathing. When you're ready, looking down. Inhale, bring up the arms. Nice work. Exhale, bring your arms forward, bend the front leg through warrior one, and we're going to come to standing L shape at the front of your mat. Lift that back leg strong, lift and turn the belly. So your right foot's down, your left leg's raised. You know what to do here. When you're ready, feet find each other at the front of the mat and then come up to standing. You might grab your right big toe, so we're switching feet. And I'm gonna draw the right big toe and the right foot up with me, stalk. You might catch that toe with the hand or the fingers or just my knee, straightening that leg. Exhale, taking that to the side. Inhale, exhale, Utida Padungus Tasasana. Utida Hasta Padungus Tasana. No wonder I whispered, my brain got confused. Sanskrit, one more breath. And we're gonna hold it there, hold it on the open. More breath. Bring it back. You might bend the knee. Take it out to the front. Straighten the leg for three, two, one. Nice work. Feet down. Shake it out. All right. So we've built up a lot of strength. The challenge for today's class was to practice a Vashistasana B. So we've worked on our side planks. We've worked on opening the hamstrings. We've worked on one-legged balance, asymmetrical. So let's see how this comes together. It is a very challenging pose. So wherever you are, in front of your mat, inhale. Let's take a nice back bend, reach up. Lean back, exhale. Inhale, reach tall. Squeeze the inner thighs the, together, exhale, lean back. Inhale, reach tall. Squeeze the inner thighs, open the chest, open the belly, lean back. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, step or float the feet back. Nice work. From here, so the left foot, turn it to the left side of the mat. Yes, left foot to the left side of the mat. Nice, press down through the big toe. So your big toe should be on the outside. Your right foot's on pressing into your big toe. Lift into almost like a downward dog shape and slowly start to bring your right arm up. Nice work. If you can, slowly bring yourself by keeping that left foot firm and floor forward in your side plank. From there, push back so you're making that nice big L shape, that big pyramid shape. We're going to bend into that top leg. We're going to grab the big toe. From here, keep nice and tall. Straighten that leg. Nice work. We've been building this up. And if you're feeling good, you rock forward, press through the outer edge of your left foot into your plank pose. Breathe. Try not to let that inner foot come off the mat. When you're ready, bend that knee, step it to the top of the mat, to the right foot at the top of the mat. You might be doing the opposite. And that would be my instructions fault. <laughs> Slowly come hands on the inside of your right foot. A little lizard pose and get a little lower. You might extend the back leg back a little further. You might be here, you might drop down onto your elbows. Nice work. Take some deep breaths.
when you're ready, use your hands, take some of the weight back. We're gonna heel and toe our foot across the mat and slowly come down into a little pigeon pose. Start nice and tall, untuck the back toes, press through the floor. If you've got a block, you might block up your right hip if you need some support there. Just working into the balance strength and like we did with our hands we, in our reclined pigeon, we pushed our hands, pushed our leg back against the hands. I want you to push through the floor. And then when you're ready, find some strength and balance sink in. Two more breaths. All right, hands framing the feet, the knees. Lift up and press the arms, try and free that right leg, step back. Now let's see if we can get to the other side without me confusing everyone so much. So if you've already done your right leg, now it's the left leg. So I'm going to the right leg. <laughs> so come forward into plank. Take your right foot into the center of the mat. Turn your right heel out to the right side of the mat. So your right heel and right hand should be aligned. Slowly start to turn onto the outer edge of your right foot. Ground down through your right foot. Lift up into your plank. Maybe rock forward into the full expression. Nice work. If you can, lift the hips tall so you're in more of a pyramid. Bend the left leg, grab hold of the big toe or the foot. Start to straighten and open that foot. If it feels good, you can slowly drop deeper into your side plank so your shoulder is stacked over your right arm. Vashi Stasana B. One more breath here. When you're ready, bend the knee. Step to the top of the mat. Nice work. Drop the back knee. Arms on the inside of that foot. I don't know what's happening there. <laughs> Those feet, left and right. Come down onto your elbows. Find some deep breaths, a little lizard pose. You can rock onto the outer blade of that left foot if it feels good for your hip. We wanna focus on some deep breaths here. When you're ready, use your hands. Frame that left leg, heel and toe, cross the mat. Pigeon pose, opposite side. Again, take a block, blanket, just stack it under that thigh support. And as we did, we're more reclined, we're pressing that leg into the floor and releasing, press and release. A little activation there, we walk out. Upper body forward and down, sinking in, dropping in, releasing, relaxing and letting go. Yeah. 
Use your hands. This time, something a bit different. We're going to slowly free that leg, step back. I want you to bring both your knees together, feet together, and sit back. So an option here is to, if that's not comfortable for you, take a block between the hips. So you're just sitting in diamond pose, Vajrasana. And you have the option to just lean back a little ways. Or if it feels good, you might take your hands to your feet and rock all the way back slowly, one elbow at a time, into a little reclined hero pose. Keep your chest open. Maybe drop the head and neck back on the shoulders. And pressing into the glutes, press your feet into the floor, squeeze and activate a nice stretch for your quadriceps, the front of the thigh. Deep breaths here. Keep pressing the tops of the feet into the mat, squeezing into the glutes. And keep your chin tucked if the back of the neck doesn't seem to like the pose. And you're already using your elbows and hands to walk yourself back up. Nice work. You can pause here. Or we can slowly begin to release the legs one at a time. And come straight onto our backs, preparing for our Shavasana. We'll start with a little twist. So take your arms out wide, knees above the hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, legs to the right. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, anchor down your left shoulder. Look over your left shoulder. On the next inhale, bring the legs back through center. On the exhale, take your time slowly, gently let the legs go to the left. Deep breath in. On the exhale, anchor down your right shoulder, left. And your gaze over your right shoulder. Then I give them both a squeeze. Pavana Mukdasana. Gentle. Forward fold. And then lengthening the legs out for your Shavasana. Make any adjustments. Relaxing through your entire body. and settling in.
start to bring some conscious awareness back into your breath. Take your time. Start to find some movement through your toes, hands and fingers. And eventually you might find your way with your knees to the chest and rolling to one side. And then I invite you to slowly come back up to seated. And we'll meet in seated to finish our practice. We're just honouring how you're feeling, what's being felt. Bringing your hands together in front of the heart. Closing our practice today. Thank you so much. Namaste.